All right, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking goddamn live video. Shout out to the AEW Pack Smokers in the chat and the Master Marks Militia in the live chat. Always remember A AEW Pack Smokers and Master Marks Militia. No consistent cat is worth your mental health. Shout out to y'all. Today's video is simply titled... WWE Night of Champions was better than AEW Double or Nothing. It was better. And why was it better? <laughs> Come on, man. Charisma. Characters, storylines. Decent matches. Cinema. Not cheap heat. Not silly pops. Not a sweet chin music with a firecracker on the back of the fucking person's foot. It was just better. And to be honest with you, AEW should be ashamed of themselves. Tony Khan should be ashamed of himself. First of all, you got four guys that you call the pillars of AEW, and they've done absolutely nothing to be pillars of AEW. They've done absolutely nothing to make AEW successful. They've done absolutely nothing to make AEW a big money wrestling company. They've done nothing. It has never been about the four pillars. It's always been about brand new signings, Game Changers, CM Skank, Wrestling Legends, WWE people who got fucking fired, and Paige. That's all it's been about. Yeah, there's matches where Jungle Boy was there. He still don't know how to talk on the mic. Tammy Guevara. He finna go away because he finna have a damn baby. Shut oh, shit. Actually, I say shout out to Sammy Guevara because he did have a baby with Tay Conti. And she do got them yams. Darby Allen. Like I said, I don't hate on Darby Allen, man. The dude's a cruiserweight. He's a dumbass for letting Gigi Dolan go. That's probably the worst decision he ever made in his life. But I don't hate Darby Allen. I think that he is a legit underdog cruiserweight guy, light heavyweight champion, intercontinental champion. Mid Carter, somewhat of a jobber, but I mean, at least he has a character. He's a skateboarder. That's his character. Skate park. Tony Hawk. That's his character. And then you have MJF, who at a point in time could have been the end-all, be-all, because he's young, he's athletic, in good shape, can talk on the mic, but he's a cheap heater. He's an AEW guy, so his success will always be limited because... Well, he's in AEW. He's not in the big leagues. Yeah, he can make money with Tony Khan, but you put him over there in WWE, what is he really going to do? Is he going to be able to have the same heat without being able to say fuck shit damn and steal shit from little kids and get cheap heat? Is he going to be able to have that same... that same pop that he gets in AEW? I mean, they'll pop for anything in AEW. Anything. A pop for Sabu. Sabu ain't been relevant in wrestling in fucking twenty years. Thirty almost almost thirty years. I don't give a fuck about no damn Sabu. Nobody cares about Sabu, man. Yeah, there's those people who still think ECW is going to come back, which is absolutely fucking not. Thank God. Those days are over. I didn't hate ECW, but those days are over 
But nobody, nobody gives a fuck about that. So what is Sabu going to do? Wrestle you in a suit? Wrestle you in a tuxedo? What's Sabu really going to do? Nobody gives a fuck about no damn Sabu. They had this big match, allegedly, with the four pillars of AEW, and it was underwhelming. It felt like they were unprepared. The storylines were absolutely atrocious. And it felt like the inmates were still running the asylum. Meanwhile, on the other side, you had matches like Oscar versus Bianca Belair. Cody Rose versus Brock Lesnar. Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Rhea Ripley versus Natalia. Mustafa Ali versus Gunther. Which anybody mad that Mustafa Ali lost? <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? Like, of course, smoking crack. You knew goddamn well he was going to lose. He ain't being Gunther. Gunther, whatever the fuck his name is. And then, the final match. Solo Sokoa, Solo Sokoa Roman Reigns, versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And once again, WWE proved that cinema is money. Storylines is money. Yeah, you can hop, skip, and jump and do acrobatics and all kind of fucking gymnastics that you want to do. Look, motherfucker, my nieces and nephews, they go to gymnastics. They could probably do a Hurricane Rana. But can they talk on the mic? No. Do they know what their charisma is like yet? No. They're kids. We talking about grown-ups. Doing acrobatics and, and, and cartwheels and hurricanranas and all of this shit. And don't get me wrong, it's a lot of it in, in WWE. It is. It does exist. But when it comes to you putting on a big pay-per-view, like, let's be honest. Even NXT's fucking, what was it called? Battleground or Stand and Deliver? Whatever the fuck this shit was called. I don't even fucking know. From the results that I've seen and the little clips that I've seen, that was better than AEW Double or Nothing. Not to mention, let's mention it, Jay Cargill is wasting her fucking time in AEW. She didn't need to be 60 and 0. She went 60 and 0 just to get beaten two minutes. Two. Why make somebody look like they are absolutely unstoppable than for somebody to return? Come back and beat them in two minutes. No matter if they wrestled a match or not. It's overdoing it. Tony Khan can't have a wrestling show without overdoing it. And guess what? Tony Khan, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I am going to be the bearer of bad news. No matter how many times you super kick somebody, hurricane run on somebody, hug somebody, kiss somebody... Paint somebody's ass with spray paint. It ain't going to work, big dog. It's not. Wrestling is like a soap opera. To have people invested, you have to have characters that are legit, with charisma, who can talk, who can also do minimum in-ring work. Attractive women for the women Attractive men, pause. <laughs> I can say attractive men. It's I don't need to say pause. What the hell? I'm comfortable with my shit. You know what I'm saying? You can say that when a fucking man is attracted to a woman. Shit, fuck it. And like I'm fucking a dude. <laughs> I don't roll like that, cuz. And not to mention, Tony Khan, I honestly think you had more time than WWE had with Night of Champions. You have more time.
Nobody care about the Big Booty Combat Club. Nobody gives a fuck about the elite. Build some fucking stars. What is Warlow doing? Still fight, fighting over a title that means absolutely nothing? Of course. Shocker. Absolutely shocked. I'm baffled. I'm just baffled by it. Shocked. Why is Warlow, why is Warlow not considered an AEW pillar? Did he work anywhere else as a wrestler? Because how are they pillars? And the only person that never worked in any other company was Jack, whatever his name is. How are they pillars? I don't get it. How the fuck are they pillars for a company when their whole career was built in other companies? Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara. MJF. If that's the case, only Jungle Boy is a pillar for AEW because he's in homegrown talent. Jay Cargill, homegrown talent. That's a pillar. That's a leader. That's somebody who has done it first. Who was the one that led everything that was at the battle lines. And I'm pretty sure as small as Jungle Boy is, to be honest... If you put him in the battle lines against somebody like Batista, he's getting his ass whooped. If you put him against somebody like Jinder Mahal, he's getting his ass whooped. Drew McIntyre, he's getting his fucking ass whooped. Gunther, you better grab the strap. Because you put Jungle Boy in the fucking room and say, oh, you got to fight Gunther. Jungle Boy better grab a fucking a slingshot. A uh, slingshot gun made out of fucking sticks and fucking rubber bands and leaves and shit and rocks. Because at this point, he's not beating Gunther's ass. What is he a pillar of? We talking about guys who were successful in other companies. Other companies. MJF, MLW. Did, did, did we fucking forget that? Did that slip everybody's mind? Darby Allen, wasn't he in fucking Evolve? Sammy Guevara, wasn't he in AAA and on TNA? What are they pilling? What are they doing? They ain't doing nothing but being pocket pillars right now. They pilling your pockets out of all the money that you had in it. They're not pillars. They're not doing anything for the business of AEW. They're not making it more successful. So at the end of the day, with the cinematics and the camera cuts and the good matches and the overall high quality shit of Night of Champions and Seth Rollins winning the heavyweight title, which is more prestigious than the AEW heavyweight championship. And it's only been around for like a couple days because Seth had a match and he looked like a champion, to be honest, for a baby face. Even though I'm not the biggest Seth Rollins fan, but, I mean, dude's over. He could talk on the mic. He's charismatic. Yeah, he do flips and dips and hops and skips, but he's just not just that. The focal point about Seth Rollins is the fact that he can pick up a microphone and talk on it. That he can walk to the ring with charisma. That he can get over with fans. I might not be a fan of his ring style and all of the flips, but... I mean, guys like AJ Styles, which I like AJ Styles. AJ Styles can't really talk on the mic, but... He's not great on the mic. He could talk, but he's not great. And AJ Styles, I think back when... He was, you know, the full phenomenal AJ Styles in, in TNA. He had a lot more charisma than he gives off now, but he doesn't really have to do that anymore because he's an OG. So with all the matches that Night of Champions brought you and the fun and excitement and, and the pop for Sami Zayn and the, the excitement in Saudi, Saudi Arabia, right? I think it was in Saudi Arabia. I can't fucking remember. Whatever. 
and you compare that to AEW Double or Nothing, there's no comparison. You can't even compare it to fucking NXT's pay-per-view that they had on the same night because still, Tiffany Stratton, heavyweight champion for the women. There were decent matches on there, a lot of flippy-dippy stuff. Of course. Carmelo, he's money. He don't miss. Got a pop that's insane. And these are people that, they don't call them pillars. They just motherfuckers that work there. Young guns, youngins, trying to come up. At this point, I'd rather motherfucker watch Noam Dar than watch anybody in AEW. And I don't give a damn about no fucking Noam Dar. Last Legend looked good and the other girl looked, you know, decent. Last Legend is tall as hell. She had dunk on your motherfucking ass. Like Shaq, boy. Like Shaq. But WWE put two pay-per-views back to back and the almighty devil or nothing couldn't even sniff its ass. And Tony Khan is pathetic because you've had more time than both of those pay-per-views had. You've had time to build storylines up. We don't give a fuck if they hit an unprettier or if they hit a uh, hit a cold breaker or if they hit a scorpion death drop or or if they hit a fucking whatever the fuck Cody Rose move is. I don't even care. <laughs> it's about Charisma, good storylines, good storytelling, action. We don't care if you fucking bring another Japanese wrestler from New Japan Wrestling. Fuck it, bring them all. Guess what it doesn't do? It doesn't help your ratings. It doesn't make you more money, and it will never put you above WWE. It just won't do it. It's not going to work that way. The only way you can ever do that is is if you get a performance center, if you take these so-called young pillars and you put them in the performance center and you teach them how to get heat without getting cheap heat. Motherfucker, Dom say two words and, and they boo Dom out the fucking arena. There is no reason why Dom has better heat as a heel than MJF. And Dom's heat is not cheap heat. It's just natural. We don't fuck with you. Your character is disgusting to us type of heat. It's not cheap heat. It's not, oh, I'm a good guy, but oh, I'm a bad guy. And oh, I want you to like me, but oh, I don't want you to like me. It's not that type of heat. It's legit fucking heat. Dom, say one word. The whole, the whole fucking crowd, boo. MJF say something, they laughing and cheering and, and, and hopping and skipping and jumping and shucking and, dry, and, and, and jiving. Shucking and jiving. AEW do not be in the field like that. They don't. They're, they're, you be in the field because they go out, they go get af athletes and they work the fuck out of them. And they teach them how to do it. AEW just go get somebody else's talent that was already built. AEW is the house nigga brand. For all the black people listen. AEW is a bunch of house niggas. Got it easy. And they still can't make fucking money. And they still can't fucking put on a successful show. And it's absolutely fucking pathetic. Tony Khan... You should be ashamed. At the end of the day, WWE Night of Champions was way better than AEW Double or Nothing. That is not a surprise. This has been Masked Up Marks. Make sure you you <laughs> shit. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. Tell us if you're excited about shit that's happening in fucking WWE or AEW, or you're excited about Seth Rollins being a world heavyweight champion. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with that title. Hopefully they don't just put it on a bunch of fucking life jobbers. Bring back DIY and have them as a tag team. Because right now, 
what I don't see what why they would be heavyweight champion. Um, fuck Tony Khan, fuck AEW, fuck the Pillars, free Jay Cargill, free Powerhouse Hobbs, free Wardlow. I'm out this bitch. I know times is getting harder. My mom gon' shine, I'ma do it for ya. Diamonds and them pearls, I'ma put them on ya. House in the hills, I'ma do it for ya.